guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe. And before I jump into this makeup tutorial, I just wanted to thank you guys so very much for all of the amazing comments that you left in my last video. I definitely got emotional reading them, but they were like happy tears. <laughs> reading all of your comments also reminded me how important it is to take advantage of the platform that I have here. I feel like it's important that we're all using our voices. I think it's even more so for people that have, you know, a larger platform where there's a lot of people like watching. If you're experiencing the same feelings that I'm experiencing, sharing information about the Black Lives Matter movement, talking about it, it definitely helped shift my feeling of like helplessness into more of a feeling of empowerment. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all of the love and for showing so much support and positivity. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this makeup tutorial. I did use the Beauty Bakery Instant Bake Concealer in Creme Brulee to prime my eyes and then I'm going to jump into eyeshadow right after. I'm going to start off by using the Ace Beauty Vintage Dawn palette and I'm going into the shade Fade first which is the darkest brown in the palette and I'm going to be doing like the fox eye makeup look but I'm going to it's going to be like a smoky version of it. <laughs> so I'm going to apply that using a really small tapered blending brush. This is a Morphe M507 and I'm just going to start building that shape that I'm going for. Then to blend out the edges I'm going to go into the same palette and taking the shade Pyramid which is a lighter warm toned brown. I'm going to use that to blend out the edges. Before I add my third transition color, I'm going to use a little bit of Beauty Bakery's flower powder in the shade Cassava and I'm just going to set the brow bone area as well as the inner portion of the lid. So that way when I apply my third transition color, it just has like a nice like smooth blend to it. And then the next shade that I'm going to go into is from the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. I'm taking the shade Empress which is this really beautiful like orangey color and I'm going to use that to blend out the edges of our second transition shade. And as I'm applying all of my shadows, I'm just making sure to really pull that outer corner outwards to create that winged eyeshadow look that I'm going for. Next, I'm going into the shade Air from the same Queen of Hearts palette and I'm going to start pressing that onto the lid using a fluffy brush. Once I have the color on, I'm going to go back in with that same brush that I used to apply Empress, which is that orange, and I'm going to go over the edges to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and well blended. Then to add a little bit of extra definition to the crease area, I'm going into the shade Royal Prerogative and taking another clean Morphe M506, I'm going to add a really, really, really small amount of that onto the crease area to give the eyes a little bit of extra shape. For the inner corner, I'm going to use the Ace Beauty Quintessential Palette and I'm taking the lightest shade from there and I'm going to start adding that onto the inner portion of the lid as well as the inner corner. This one is slightly lighter than the shade Air from the Colored Rain Palette that we applied onto the lid, so it's going to give us a little bit of extra brightness. Then taking that black eyeshadow from the same palette, I'm going to add that to the outer corner to give the eyes extra depth and then I'll go back in with the same brush that I used to apply my dark brown to blend out the edges. Going back into that dark brown from the Vintage Dawn palette, I'm also going to use that to wing out the inner corner of the eyes. For mascara today, I'm using one from Black Radiance. I'm going to add a couple of coats of that before I pop on my false lashes. And the lashes that I'm using today are from Glow Up Academy, of course. These are like my favorite lashes at the moment. They're just so fluffy and they curl like a dream. I just love these lashes so much. Kiki really did the damn thing with these lashes. <laughs> so I'm going to pop those on using some tweezers and just make sure to press them together with my natural lashes so there's no space in between. So it's been about three weeks since I filmed my last tutorial and my skin 
has gone through quite a bit in between that time. I think from all the stress and then, you know, my monthly cycle popping up, my skin's been going through it. So I definitely have quite a bit of texture. So we're gonna fix all of that up using my favorite beauty bakery products for my skin because it never fails me. I'm gonna start off by priming using the beauty bakery baking oil. I'm only using a small amount of this though, not too much. I just did like maybe three or four drops on the palm of my hand and I rubbed it together and then I'm just pressing it into the skin to apply. I am still quite oily in my T-zone area, so I'm gonna be using the Black Opal Invisible Oil Blocking Primer, and I'm gonna place that on all the areas that I get really oily. So for me, that's the forehead, the nose, a little on the cheeks. I'm gonna press that into the skin really well and give it a second for it to dry down before I put on my foundation. Moving on to foundation, I am using the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Foundation in the shade 317W. I do have a coupon code for Beauty Bakery. Just make sure you check the description box down below. I always have every single product that I'm using for every single makeup tutorial down below in the description box. So if you guys ever have a question about products that I'm using, shade names, if you wanna purchase something, then definitely check the description box. I just recently started using links as well. So that way you can just click on the link associated with the product and you can purchase it from there. Just know that they are affiliate links, so if you do decide to purchase, then I do get a little bit of commission, but it's definitely appreciated because you guys are helping the girl out pay her bills. So yeah, <laughs> just wanted to throw that out there because they are affiliate links, but you guys definitely don't have to use them. You can always just go to their web the website like on your own and purchase it normally. If you guys ever have a question about like products that I'm using, definitely check the description box. So after foundation, I did use the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Concealer that's closer to my skin tone to just kind of touch up any extra, you know, places that needed coverage. And now I'm going into a lighter shade of the same concealer. This one is Creme Brulee, the same concealer that I use to prime my eyes. And I'm gonna use that to highlight all the areas that need some extra brightness. So the under eyes, the cupid's bow, a little on the sides of the mouth, as well as the chin and forehead. And for some added coverage, I'm gonna use the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover Concealing Wand. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's a pretty long name, but this is more of like a peachy tone. So it goes great to kind of like brighten the under eyes. I probably should have used this concealer first and then use the Beauty Bakery one, but this one was kind of like an afterthought. But I'm gonna add a very thin layer of that because it is super full coverage onto the under eyes and just any areas that I want like a little bit of extra coverage. To set all of my concealer, I'm using the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder in the shade Cassava, and I'm gonna press that into the skin using a sponge. I'm not doing like any type of baking or anything like that, only for the sides and the bridge of the nose, but everything else, I just like to use a very minimal amount of product and just press it into the skin until it disappears. For the rest of the face, I'm gonna be setting using the Black Opal Soft Velvet Finishing Powder. The shades that I have here are way too dark and way too light for me, so I'm mixing the two together to get my shade, and I'm using a really large fluffy brush so I get a really nice, soft, even coverage.
We've got some new bronzers today from Vesca Beauty. I'm using a mixture of shades Kiss by Cabo and Kiss by Maldives, and I'm using that on all the areas that I want to add some extra warmth into the skin. So the forehead, the cheekbones, and a little bit on the nose. I'm really, really loving these bronzers. The shade range is really amazing. So if you're looking for a new bronzer, I definitely recommend these. They are super pigmented as well. So I definitely recommend using a light hand. Try using like a little bit at a time and kind of building the product up so that way you're not applying too much at one time. Next up, I'm moving back to the eyes. I'm gonna take that same dark brown shade from the Vintage Dawn palette, as well as the orange from the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette, and I'm gonna use that to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm gonna use the darkest brown first to get that depth, and then the orange to blend everything out. I can't believe I forgot this. I also have a coupon code for Colored Rain. I'll leave that down below in the description box as well. So if you want a little discount with your purchase, then definitely go ahead and feel free to use that. For the waterline, I'm using the Japanese Velvet Touch Eye Pencil in the shade Waterline Nude. I love this pencil. It's very smooth and creamy and it's kind of like that perfect like off-white shade. So I love using this in the waterline to bring out some extra brightness into the eyes. And then I'm gonna follow that up with some mascara. I'm using the same mascara that I used for the top lashes from Black Radiance. You guys know I've been loving my little individual lashes on the lower lash line, so I'm gonna pop those on using some tweezers. These are the Ardell Double Up Individual Lashes, and I'm using the shortest ones. I'm then gonna highlight the nose. I'm using the shade Be Sweet from the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey palette. I'm gonna take that onto the bridge, the tip, and the sides of the nose, as well as the highest point of the brow bone. Then for blush, I'm using the Beauty Bakery Scoops Elysee palette, and I'm using a mixture of that orange and hot pink, and I'm gonna place that onto the apples of the cheeks using a really large fluffy brush so I get a smooth blend. And last but not least for lips, I'm gonna start lining using the Melt Cosmetics All Day Everyday Lip Liner in the shade Edible. This is one of my favorite liners right now. It's that perfect brown. It works with so many different neutral lip shades that I have. It's definitely one of my favorites and I use it all the time. <laughs> And to fill in the lips, I'm gonna be using two lipsticks from Mented Cosmetics. These are their tube lipsticks in the shades Nude La La and Peach Please. I'm gonna apply Nude La La first because it is a little bit darker, and then I'll apply Peach Please onto the center for that extra bit of brightness. Once I was done applying the lipstick, I knew that this lip needed like the original Fenty Gloss Balm. So I'm gonna apply that next using the applicator and uh, this lip is everything. I'm loving it so, so much. I haven't gone this dark with a lip in a while, but I am loving it. And then to finish off the look, I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Bakery Sweet Grace Setting Spray. And that pretty much completes this look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more. Don't forget to check the description box for any questions about products that I'm using as well as all of my coupon codes. Thank you again for watching guys and hopefully I will see you in the next one.